Hey guys, Spiner Dude here, and today we are taking a look at another 2017 Safari Limited figure for the hashtag How I Safari campaign. So let's have our co-host Marvin bring it out. Thank you, Marvin. So today, guys, we are going to be taking a look at this. It is the 2017 Safari Limited Feathered Velociraptor. If you've been staying tuned to the channel, you'll remember we had a huge 2017 Safari Limited haul, and included in the batch was this brand new Velociraptor figure. A massive thank you to Safari Limited for sending this figure out. I cannot wait to take a closer look at it. So without further ado, guys, let's dive into the review. Before we take a closer look at the figure, here are a few quick facts about Velociraptor itself. Velociraptor mongoliensis means speedy thief. It was a species of dromaeosaur or raptor that lived in the Cretaceous period of what is now Asia. Velociraptor was a fairly small predator at about 6 feet long and was equipped with a sharp sickle claw on each foot. A fossil of a protoceratops and a velociraptor locked in battle was discovered in 1971 and suggests that this raptor used this special talent to stab at the herbivore's neck. Fossil evidence also shows that Velociraptor had a covering of feathers on its body, particularly shown in the forelimbs, which sported bird-like wings. These feathers would have provided insulation, allowing the animal to preserve a high metabolism, which is crucial for an agile and active hunter. So without further ado guys, let's start taking a closer look at this awesome feathered carnivore. So here is the 2017 Safari Limited Feathered Velociraptor. This is one of my most anticipated models from Safari for 2017, and my goodness, this figure is absolutely stunning. Now detail-wise, this figure has some gorgeous feathers sculpted out across the entire body. I'm especially fond of the beautiful primary and secondary feathers shown on the forelimbs there on the wings. These small details in the body really make it look like this Velociraptor is fluffy, and the tail has some wonderful feathers sculpted out forming a bird-like fan. The feet on this figure are beautifully done as well. You can see some lovely bird-like scaling detail there along with the sickle claw that dromaeosaurs are known to have. The hands are also done nicely and are partially covered by the wings, and if you look from the other side you can see the full hand with claws sculpted out underneath. The head on this raptor is absolutely gorgeous. You can see the eye has been done in some glossy orange and black colors to give it a natural reflective look, and the snout has a nice transition between the feathers and the scales. The interior of the mouth has been sculpted and painted in a fleshy pink color as well, and the teeth are done in white. There is a tiny bit of a paint mishap on the front of the teeth there on my figure, but that doesn't bother me too much. I love the choice of colors on this figure. The burnt orange color with the white underbelly is really nicely done, and I love the gray and brown with the white markings on the back of the head, the wings, and the tail fan. The colors and markings on this Velociraptor are actually very similar to the spotted Tohi. This model even has the bird's orange colored eyes. The pose on this figure is really nicely done. You can see it looks as if the Velociraptor is walking with its head slightly turned to the side. Now this pose is supported by the front wings here so we can have this rather dynamic pose, but as just a slight warning for collectors, it isn't the most stable. If you tip this figure even slightly to the side, it will tumble over, but as long as you're careful with placing it down, it shouldn't be a problem. Perhaps my particular figure here is just a bit more unstable than others. Also, as an extra posing option, you can carefully balance the raptor on its tail. I just thought that was worth showing. I also just wanted to mention the rounded bird-like chest on this Velociraptor. The dense feathering really makes this depiction of the dinosaur feel naturalistic. Alright, so for my overall thoughts on this figure, this model is a masterpiece from Safari Limited. The gorgeous sculpt detailing and the wonderful naturalistic color scheme really come together and make this Velociraptor truly feel like a believable animal. All of the bird-like feathering is spot on with the latest research, making this figure the most scientifically accurate Velociraptor figure I've seen. This model is truly beautiful and looks fantastic on display with all of Safari's other prehistoric animal figures. So great job Safari Limited, you've done a phenomenal job recreating the Velociraptor. So you're probably wondering just how big this figure is, so Marvin, bring out the ruler. Thank you, Marvin. 
All right, we've got our trusty flexi ruler now, so let's give this velociraptor a measure. So in terms of the length from the tip of the tail all the way to the tip of the snout, we are looking at about eight and a half inches. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the head there, we are looking at about two and three quarter inches. For comparison, here is the 2017 Safari Limited Feathered Velociraptor next to the Safari Limited Shunosaurus. If you want to see the review for this figure, link will be down below in the description. Shunosaurus is another dinosaur from Asia, and I think these two figures look quite nice with each other, although they are out of scale. So make sure you guys go check out Safari Limited Shunosaurus, it's an awesome figure of the unique sauropod. Up next for comparison, here is the 2017 Safari Limited Feathered Velociraptor next to the 2017 Safari Limited Microraptor. If you want to see the review for this figure, link will be down below in the description. Microraptor is another dromaeosaurid from Asia, and although these figures are out of scale, I think they look very nice on display with each other. So make sure you guys go check out Safari's brand new Microraptor, it's a beautiful figure of the small raptor. And finally for comparison, here is the 2017 Safari Limited Feathered Velociraptor next to the 2017 Safari Limited Cetacosaurus. If you want to see the review for this figure, link will be down below in the description. Cetacosaurus is yet another dinosaur from Asia, and I think these two figures look great on display with each other. So make sure you guys go check out Safari Limited's brand new Cetacosaurus. It's a wonderful little figure of the primitive Ceratopsian. Well there we go guys, that was today's look at the 2017 Safari Limited Feathered Velociraptor. I think this figure is absolutely gorgeous. It's really nice to see a Dromaeosaurid figure that is up to date on the latest scientific research and I definitely recommend adding it to your collection. So if you guys want to get this figure for yourself, head on over to www.safarilimited.com. Also be sure to check out their other awesome products while you're there. And if you guys want to learn more about the hashtag Hawaii Safari campaign, go check out Safari's Facebook page and other social media. So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also leave a comment telling me what you think of this new model. So thank you so much guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care, and bye bye